Bentley. Money Basics. Hi everyone, it's Christina from Smartly, and I'm so glad you're here for the final installment of my three-part mini-class examining the time value of money. Let's jump back in for part three where I'll show you the trick to valuing your options, which will make any financial decision easier. When you're considering putting your money into something, but aren't sure if it's a good idea, you can gauge how expensive that investment really is by calculating the opportunity cost, which is an economist's way of comparing what you want to the next best thing. For example, say you're considering renting a bigger art studio with a five-year lease at an additional cost of $200 per month. This studio would provide a better work environment, the ability to be more productive, you could potentially make more money and be happier with your work. And is it possible there could even be more magic? Still, for many of us, it may be hard to determine a ballpark return on this investment. We may want a new studio for all the reasons mentioned, but how much does it really cost? Maybe $200 a month seems manageable, but what are you giving up to redirect those funds to studio rent? In this space, I will become the next Picasso. This is where it's handy to look at an alternative investment whose return can be more easily estimated. The ultimate value of your alternative is equal to the opportunity cost. For this example, let's use something that everyone needs to do and what most of us aren't doing enough of. That's right, I'm talking about saving for retirement. Now that I'm old, I wish I had some money and human companionship. Let's work out the values. We've looked at the benefits of a larger studio, so now let's examine the upside of saving more for retirement in a tax advantage investment account, such as a Roth IRA. For this, all you need to do is Google a simple savings calculator and plug in some numbers. Keep in mind, investing in stocks and bonds be highly variable, but with a long time frame, I'm going to assume 25 years until retirement, we can safely assume a positive return. For this example, I'm going to use an average annual increase of 7%. This is a two-step process. For the first part, let's plug in $200 of principal, $200 per month deposit, with 7% annual growth over the course of five years. This represents the additional rent we pay over the life of the lease. At the end of five years, if instead we decided to save for retirement, we'd likely have $14,602.11. Not bad! After five years, you'll still have 20 years for that money to compound before you retire. So take your result from step one and use it as the initial value in step two. In this phase, there's no need to add monthly deposits. Instead, let's watch the results from step one compound for an additional 20 years, giving us $58,974.11 at the time of retirement. Now we're talking about some real money. Hot damn, I'm rolling in it. So the likely opportunity cost of the joy, possibility, productivity, and magic of five years of rent on a bigger studio is $58,974.11 of retirement savings. Yes, it may still be hard to compare the apples of joy and magic to the oranges of stocks and bonds, but I found this to be the most useful way to put a price tag on something that feels immeasurable. Is a bigger studio a worthy investment? You decide. Smartly. Art plus personal finance. Sign up for updates at www.sm-artly.com.